At the Waterside Inn, Michel Roux sets the task to his son Alain and nephew Michel Jr. to demonstrate one of the scholarship challenge dishes. A fillet of beef en croûte à la Byzantine with sauce bernaise. So here is the challenge. The six finalists will have to make a fillet of beef en croûte with puff, rough puff pastry, served with a garnish of pommes de terre duchesse, little lettuce braise, and a bernaise sauce. I've asked the two cousins, Mimi and Alain, to do that dish. I leave it to you. Okay, good. That's our puff pastry. I think that the butter needs to be uh, obviously diced, not too small, and obviously uh, quite cold. It's very cold. Yeah, it? It, very needs cold. To, it needs to be, uh, you know, otherwise it's going to melt totally with uh, the flour, and you, we don't want that. And you're using your fingertips as well. It's very, very delicate. Yeah, not the, the middle of the, the hand. You don't want to, to bruise it too much. You, you're really looking to, to flake it. On the day, do you think this is the first job that they should attempt? I would, definitely. We're ready to put uh, the water. And we really want to achieve a, a nice dry dough. That's it. We're almost there. So it's basically bringing it all together, but not yep. kneading it like a bread. That's it. It's ready to roll. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> so it's even pressure to get it a nice, even thickness and to try and get these corners at a right angle. And we can see the butter. We can see the little knobs of butter that have been left and they're being spread out. And that's what's going to puff. And another turn? Yep, I'll do that one. You do it, off you go. The first turn is always the hardest. I oh, know, that's why I let it to you. <laughs> so we always brush off the excess flour. That's going to stop the puff pastry from rising. That's it. That's looking great already. Time to rest. Well, here we have a fillet of beef. They're going to have to know how to trim this properly. So you have to remove the excess fat. On this side, we've got what we call the chain, which needs to be removed as well, because that's got a lot of sinew in it. What we don't want to see is the beef hacked to bits and, and with chunks missing out of it. And it's very easy to go too far. Part of the recipe is a duxelle of champignons. And of course, we make our duxelle by hand. What do you think? I think that's good. You've done a good job there. Cheers. Passed. One of the garnishes we want them to do is a, a braised lettuce. But the way to prepare them is obviously to cut the bottom off here, remove the excess leaves, and then we cross the bottom like an endive so that they can cook easily. And then braised with veal stock. So the lettuce should end up something like this, really beautiful, holding itself yet tender. Keeping its shape. This is the, uh, the pomme duchesse, isn't it, which is... Uh, Basically, baked potato, passed through a moulie. But the secret is not to overwork. And while it's still warm, add your egg yolks. And at the end, we said we wanted to put a little cream. And these are the tartlet moulds. So we need to butter these a bit. So you take a bit of the pomme duchesse and you force it into the tartlet. Just spooned in. I haven't cooked these at Le Gavroche for many, many years. But I think they might be on the menu tonight. I need to dole out some punishment to my veg man. Then the tricky bit is to pipe it on. Just up and down like that. See, you've done that before. Just a little bit. Just a few times. Perfect. So the beef, lightly seasoned, salt and pepper. Yep. And then we're going to sear it. And the idea is to get a lovely golden colour. But yep. not, not too much. Not too much. You know, by, by searing it, that's, that's the way we keep all the blood to stay in the meat as well. All the flavours will be there. We then put it in the oven for about five minutes and then quickly chilled down because remembering it has to be cold before we put it in the puff pastry. That's beautiful. So the beef and then we're going to put in the spinach. So these are spinach leaves that have been blanched in boiling water and we wrap the beef with spinach and that gives a lovely contrast of colour as well. And it holds the juices that's going to try to, to run out of the fillet. So the pancakes, we've cut them and slightly overlapping. So this is our mushroom duxelle. Yes. And you can't rush this bit. You need 
you know, the same amount of the mushroom that sell everywhere. Otherwise, when you're going to cut the slice, that's going to be look terrible. And with the scissors, we want to get rid of uh, that excess of pancake. We just want a little leg wash. There. Cut that V shape here. So is that going to be long enough? Yes. yes. Perfect. <laughs> of course, our finalists should know that they have to trim off this excess pancake and puff pastry. Close your eyes. <laughs> so the seal is underneath. So it won't burst open. That's it. That's a tricky bit. Isn't it? it is. I've, I've not done this since my apprenticeship, and that's a long, long time ago. Can you imagine the finally see if, if they've got this far, perfect, and then they muck this bit up? If they cut through? Ooh. Don't want to think about that. No. So we put a little chimney in. That's it. Ready to bake. Perfect. Looks good. Looks good. I think it looks beautiful. Yeah, well, that's you. I'm the judge. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh. So, lovely. A little bit of clarified butter to give it some shine. Yes, good. That looks nice. That Beautiful. Looks nice. So that's your pomme duchesse, which you've done, obviously. You filled it up with, obviously. Cauliflower puree, yeah. classically done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A classic Bernays with fresh tarragon at the end. Yes. And for me, most importantly, I and I know for you as well, we I kept the shallots in there. The family has always preferred the testing the shallots lightly cooked as it should be. It looks good. The puff pastry looks superbly cooked, light and fluffy. The duxel hold beautifully well. The beef is rare and I love it rare. The puree looks nice. The lettuce braise beautifully well. Don't start to think you've done it. You will not be a scholar. <laughs> but you could expect if you enter in the competition. Next year. Next year <laughs> to get there. <laughs> so well done, boys. Now we can see what our scholars are supposed to do.